Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'll be interviewing Sam, who's the creator of the latest interactive Python course on CodeDAM and also taking up the next accelerator batch on CodeDAM. So we're gonna be starting off with a new Python Fundamentals Accelerator Batch. And if you don't know what that is, that is basically a small 30-day cohort-based setup in which you will be using Sam as a mentor and CodeDAM as a learning resource to provide you with the best of both worlds. It is cheap and affordable. At the same time, it is high quality, automatic testing. You get the best of mentorship plus hands-on learning from CodeDAM. So the Accelerator program consists of the following rules. The accelerator will run for 31 days in this case where there is virtually no prerequisite, not even computer programming. So if you are basically someone who's absolutely new to everything and you want to start your journey with Python, this is the perfect cohort based accelerator program. Second of all, you will be having unlimited access to code dams, this Python course, hands on practice, learning path and any practice project or material involved when you are part of this cohort. So that is super awesome. And the third and the most important part is that you get a live mentor. So you can ask him questions over Discord, over WhatsApp, and even ask him questions live, take up your doubts, discuss some things, some problems on the weekly call sessions. So this is like the real selling point of the cohort that you are able to interact with the same instructor who has created this eight hours of hands-on course on CodeDAM. So that's pretty cool. So I invited Sam to this interview where we discussed a little bit about the accelerator, the Python, what is the future of learning and why this course will be super helpful for you guys. Let us get into it. Okay, hi Sam, how are you? I'm doing good, Mayhul, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for taking out the time today. Just wanted to know some quick things about your journey so far, your work, the past experiences, what have you done so far, and um, just happy to have you here. Absolutely, uh, thank you so much for having me. This has been an awesome experience uh, in the few months that we've been working together. I can't believe actually how long we've known each other uh, over the past six months, but sure, uh, let me tell you about my journey in Python. So I'm 44 right now. I started learning Python when I was 36. So I was, I was a seasoned adult, I had three kids, and I knew there was something more that I wanted to do. And I ran across an article in the Wall Street Journal. They were talking about big data. And then the more I looked into it, they started to talk about uh, this, the, the, this language that I had never ever heard about, Python. And it has been off to the races ever since. So I started um, learning, teaching myself, um, uh, volunteering at my kids' schools, teaching classes at the library, and then after I had built up and started using it, uh, trading in the stock market, analyzing data, I realized that looking back, that took a great deal amount of time, and I wanted, I wanted to give back a little bit. It was also selfish reasons that I knew I was going to become better once I started teaching and programming and sharing, but I didn't want anyone to have the same challenges I did. So I started my YouTube channel and then have branched out from there and then had all these wonder other wonderful opportunities. And this course that I have put together is all of these pieces all in one place. If, if I were to start over, what would I want it to be? And that is how this course came to be. That is awesome. Like the fact that you mentioned that um, you had a couple of challenges, some things which you would not want other people to face. Like what were these two, three challenges which you um, faced in your journey? And how does your latest course on CodeBAM can address that for anyone who purchases that or you know just, just watches it for free? Okay, uh, some of the challenges that I experienced and where this opportunity with CodeDAM and this community and this cohort that we're building is I was alone. I was all by myself, I didn't have a schedule, I was on an island and that was kind of the birth, the first step, the birth of my YouTube channel. But then with this wonderful opportunity with CodeDAM, the trick that I've figured out that what makes Python 
powerful is the community. The packages, the conferences, the YouTube. Then when Code Dam and I came together, we understood that learning is challenging when you're at home by yourself. And that is how these accelerators came to be. The building of a community. I was on an island and you guys do not have to be. That is what CODAM Accelerator is all about. That is awesome. So let's just discuss a little bit about this cohort, this accelerator program, which we have. So I took up a couple of accelerators myself in the past few months where we discussed about front-end web development. And now you are coming as a Python accelerator instructor. And it seemed like, it seems like a great way for people to start programming. But I still wanted to ask you, according to you, who exactly is a relevant person for this 31 day Python accelerator and the course which you have launched and what exactly will we be doing in this program? Absolutely, so if you are joining this accelerator program, one, we're absolutely super excited to have you here, but some of the things that you will be seeing and experiencing is one, a, a pace at which you can move on your own. That's probably one of the most important, but what I truly think is the absolute most important and no one else out there on the internet that I know of, the access to your, your co-students and the instructor. You will never ever be stuck. And some of the things that we're gonna be doing in this very, very compressed accelerator, it's, it's our first one so for Python, so we're just, we, we, wanna, we wanna get it out, get some feedback, but it's gonna be a 31 day experience. And we're gonna go from an introductory section that is going to be very wide, but shallow, just to kind of get you some exposure to all of the wonderful things that Python has to offer. Then a second section, it's gonna be a little bit deeper, a little less narrow, and then where Python and where all programming languages really get down to it is remembering and putting stuff some places. So we're gonna learn about the first container that I think is amazing is lists. There's so many powerful things that you can do with lists, and we're going to jet begin to dip our toe into this, and you're going to understand how these containers, how you can solve problems, with, with these small little basic understanding of, pro of programming. So let's say if I'm somebody who has absolutely no experience with programming before, is this a relevant course for me? Would I be able to start with Python programming after this cohort? Absolutely. So the true design of this is if you have absolutely no experience with programming or Python. I, everything that I do whenever I start something and we go forward and you'd be able to see that in uh, my YouTube channel, but like I was saying, this course is these seven years of me teaching and sharing all culminated into one place into the process that I wish I started. But this course is designed for zero experience programmer, zero knowledge in Python. We go from zero forward and you, and it goes in micro steps. You will not get lost, especially since we have this accelerator you can talk to me, you can get a hold of me uh, weekly in the, in the conference or through uh, chat or even through WhatsApp. You will not be doing this alone. And that's probably one of the things that I'm most excited about. You will not be alone during any of this process. That is awesome. Like the fact when you mentioned uh, you're condensing your 7, 80 years of experience, that was precisely my motivation of starting Code Dam as well. I don't have seven years of working industry experience, but seven years of struggling to <laughs> understand web development. So that, is, that was like the real motivation of starting Code Dam. Can I create a platform which can chip away three to four years from a web developer's journey? Because yes. that has that has become even more important now due to the noise in the ecosystem, especially in web. Um, but yeah, with libraries and uh, more libraries and more software coming up with Python, I believe that's the same for that side also. I agree. So you mentioned about live cohort and having weekly calls with you. That is an awesome opportunity for people to ask you any sort of questions, if they're stuck anywhere, getting your personal time, that is great. And plus having a, having a mentor along the way, I think is super powerful to start your journey, especially when you feel lost or especially when you're somebody who's just get, getting started with things. Absolutely. So most of my audience here on Code Dam, the people who subscribe to the channel, they, they are usually working, already working with JavaScript, 
as a front-end developer or some sort of JavaScript. So do you think this course is relevant for people who have been doing a little bit of React, a little bit of front-end things, but also want to explore Python? So how do you see this course for those people who are a little bit experienced, but not that much? So CodeDam up to this point has been very focused on web development on the, on the front end. Well, one of the things that Python does is Django. That, like I was just saying about, you're going you're gonna to hear on the internet a lot of noise about Python slow. I, I want to address that right now. So Python is a non-snobby language. I'm sure before you settled here and before you found CodeDam, you've heard about uh, all everybody's pushing all these other languages. Okay, so the, like I said, Python is a powerful community, just like we're building here at CodeDam. So then to address web development, Django was designed for backend. So everything that you, you, know, you may already know uh, about React and HTML and JavaScript, you then can flip over to the backside and learn Python and how to handle all the database, all the queries, all of the page linkings. There is not anything in the wild out in programming that Python does not have a package, a library, a module, and we'll go into all those terms. You don't have to know what those mean, but it does. They, Python touches every uni, every bit of the universe of the programming world. That is true, and that is good. So, as a student, if I'm enrolling in this accelerated program, as as a student, if I'm enrolling in this cohort, whatever you want to call this, um, what happens when we complete this? Do we get the next steps or is there anything which we have to do next after learning the fundamentals of Python? That is a great question. So what we're doing here is we wanted to build this first little step to remove this fear because 90% of programmers start online and they stop because they hit this brick wall. We're gonna push you through this brick wall to or over or around or under it. I don't care how, I'm gonna get you around the wall, okay? And then, we're building, I'm actually in the process of building more courses right now, and CodeDam has been wonderful to me and offering me all these wonderful opportunities, but we're going to go through and have courses. If you're in this first cohort, you're the first, and you're actually gonna be able to give me feedback of where to go next, but we're gonna have courses released and released and released all throughout the year, and you're gonna have opportunities to get in here first and even influence the path at which we move. That is great to hear. And one more thing I had in mind was, I was checking out your course, the course which you created on CodeDam, and it includes a lot of practice exercises. So given that people already know here how the CodeDam practice interface looks and works, I want to know what is the motivation behind creating so many practice exercises with the theory part, and how do you think this helps a student when they're learning a particular course compared to a YouTube or a Udemy course? That is another fantastic question. So if you really have noticed that too and you've poked around and wanted to see, that's actually a little bit of an insight of how I think and how I'm going to teach. We're going to do the same thing over and over again because you're here because you're similar to me. So I would see a script, I would see a problem written out and I'd go, oh, I get it and then I'd get a problem that was extremely similar to it and I'd be stuck. So it's just like a math sheet homework. We're going to do this over and over and over again so you begin to think like a programmer. So whenever you have a problem out in the world and out in life, you're going to know you're starting to be a programmer when you think, how would I do this with a for loop? How would I count how many things? How long is that character? This is what we're going to do. We're going to do so many exercises, so many quizzes, until you start thinking like a programmer. And I will get you through every single step together. That is awesome to hear. I think Sam, I had um, all the doubts cleared, which I had in mind, and hopefully everyone was able to extract a lot of value from our small but fruitful interview here. If anyone has any questions, they can definitely leave that in the comments. But yeah, super excited to start this first Python accelerator slash cohort program with you. The entries are open. We have limited number of seats. So please go ahead and check the link in the description and I will be posting more information about this. Thank you so much, Sam, for your time. And hopefully we would have a great start to the first Python cohort. 
Absolutely, guys. Hope to see you soon. So that was Sam talking about his experiences and why this program would be super useful and relevant to anyone and everyone getting started with programming. If you are one of them, you can find all the details for this accelerator program, including pricing. And this just requires a Codam Pro membership like usual. So you don't have to pay like thousands of rupees or tens of thousands of rupees to enroll. A simple Codam Pro subscription makes you eligible automatically. So that is one way to go about, but you can find all the options through the links in the description below. Make sure you check them, read the description carefully. That includes a lot of useful instructions. That is all for this video. If you have any doubts, please make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and thank you all for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video.